used to take the fish we'd catch out of this dirty river that runs through this dirty river town, and we used to cut off their still glistening with silver scaled heads. We used to nail them, those heads, to the creosoted pole out back behind our yard. We'd hammer nails into those fishes' heads and make for ourselves what my brother and me used to call our backyard fishing pole. The biggest of the big lip fish look like they might leap out and bite the hand left dangling over the side of a boat. We gave each of the fish heads each a name. In the end, there were exactly 150 fish heads named, each with its own name. Not one was called Jimmy or John. Jimmy and John was my brothers and my real name. We called each other brother. Our father called us brothers son. When our father hollered out son, the both of us brothers would turn back our heads. We did not stop fishing for and catching and nailing those fish heads into wood until the day our father came home from work and told us we were leaving. When our father told us we were leaving, he meant it. We were leaving for good. We did not want to leave, my brother and me. We did not want to leave behind the town, or the river, or the fish-headed telephone pole, back behind the wood tool shed, where our father kept his hammers and his saws and his cigar boxes full of rusty, bent-back nails. Our mother called us both her dirty little boys. Us boys were made, our mother liked to say, in the spitting image of our father. We did not like it much when our mother made us wash our hands to rid ourselves of those fishy river smells. We did not like it much when our mother tried to get us to wash ourselves back behind our ears. We liked mud and those dirty river smells that smelled of fishing and worms. We liked the way the silver fish scales stuck to and glittered sparkly in our hands. 
At night, we like to hold our hands up to the moonlight shining into our bedroom window. It looked like our hands had been dipped in stars. Thank you.